Hello out there in data land, my name is Robert Pound and I am a product technologist from Quest. In this video I would like to talk to you about the dimensional viewer in Toad DataPoint. Understanding and combining data are two of the major endeavors at the front end of any data analysis task. Toad DataPoint addresses these issues in a number of ways, however, the focus of this video will be on the dimensional viewer. Highlights of the dimensional viewer include the automatic parsing of date fields, the capability to aggregate your data in a number of ways, the ability to create calculated fields as well as roll-ups of your data, and the power to share your insights with your team in a number of different ways. Now let's walk through the tool and see some of the features in action. First off, how do you open a dimensional viewer? There are several options. Uh, from the Object Explorer, you can right-click and choose Dimensional Viewer. Or from the ribbon bar, you can choose Dimensional Viewer. But chances are, if you're using the dimensional viewer, you already have a query uh, that you want to further investigate. So either from a editor or a query builder file, you can right click in the result set, choose send to, and choose dimensional view. This will open up a new tab with the data that you want to investigate. The toolbars at the top and bottom allow you to access tutorials and arrange and refresh your data on screen and a number of options to export your data and save your data uh, the publish and export options are covered in another video but you have the option to export and save and share in a number of different ways so looking at the field list there are three distinct types in the field list the columns with the cube and an a in front of it are uh, facts. These are your finite values such as state or city. Uh, you also have your dimensions or your measurements. These are uh, denoted by the hash symbol. Uh, and then you also have dates. So as we talked about, uh, dates are automatically uh, parsed out into year, quarter, month, day, hour, minute, second. So that way you can pull in just those attributes uh, without having to create a calculated column. You can also change the aggregation on any one of the dimensions. So currently, the aggregation uh, by default is set to sum, but if you want to aggregate count, or if you want to change it to mean, etc., you can. For this data set, um, it's an order ID, so it's meant to be a fact. So I'm gonna choose none for this one. You can also choose uh, to create calculated columns. By default, there's a count of rows in the calculations, but if you wanted to create a calculated column for city, for instance, you could choose add calculated field. And then you have the ability to create your own custom formula from the wizard that opens up. You can also create rollups of your data. So looking at state, for instance, if you wanted to roll this up into a new category, you could choose create rollup. And then highlight several of the items. In this case, I'm going to just choose the top seven or so and choose add rollup. And I will change the name of this to my region and click OK. Now all of those uh, fields in the column will be a new rollup called my region. And if I wanted to, again, create a new rollup, I can come here and choose uh, region 1 and click all others can be placed in other so now you can come down and see everything's placed either in other region 1 or region 2 and if I made a mistake I can correct it by simply choosing from the drop-down menu and modifying it now looking at the canvas so we've seen the fields themselves but now to drop them into the canvas, you simply drag and drop, and it will create a list. If you want to drag in dimensional data, in this case, amount build, I can drag it into this table as well and drop it in, and it's automatically rolling it up as a sum. If we want to create a separate table, for instance, uh, the rollup that I just created, I can drag this in onto the canvas as a separate table and it will show my rollups that I did for the state. And again, dropping the amount build on top of it will sum up for my new rollups as opposed to by city or by state. 
You can also further filter this data uh, by dropping a attribute or a field into this filter icon at the top. So now we can deselect all states in this case, or we can start parsing out certain states that are uh, not of interest to us. You can also, in the field list, choose filter, and it will also create a filter. So now we have two filters, and I switch between them by simply clicking at the bottom, the attributes, so now we're on state, and I've switched to city. And once I have data that's of interest to me, like I mentioned earlier, we can share this out uh, through Toad Intelligence Central Server. We can export it off as an Excel file. Uh, you can share it in a number of ways. And that's the general overview of the Dimensional Viewer in Toad Data Point. Hopefully this video helped you understand how you can use the Dimensional Viewer in Toad Data Point to understand your data. To get more information on this or other topics, you can check out the Toad Help file. There's a wealth of knowledge, including tutorials to help get you started. You can also check out the community-driven innovation going on at www.toadworld.com. I highly encourage you to log in so that you can get content specific to Toad Data Point in the tool. For more information on this product, you can visit www.quest.com forward slash products forward slash Toad Data Point. Thank you and good luck in all future endeavors.